student at GVSU, she is winning business competitions and changing lives through baking. Her bakery is called Stir It Up, and although the goods are delicious, her business model is what's so special. My goal is to change the unemployment rate for individuals with special needs. Here you go, Jess. I'm a student at Grand Valley State University. Um, I'm a senior studying management and marketing, and a lot of my uh, focus has been on entrepreneurship. I never envisioned myself to own a bakery. Um, however, I have three cousins with special needs, and because of them, I started volunteering with a group called Young Life Capernaum. Looking good. Nearly 70% of individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities are unemployed, and um, to me, I don't, I don't think that should be. I think that's a huge problem, and so I started with a bakery um, just to kind of test if this could be a possible business. We actually started out of my home kitchen as a Michigan cottage business, just very small. We've partnered with Trinity United Methodist Church, and we rent out their commercial kitchen. How are you, Kyle? Are you? Good. I am Kyle Fihi. Um, what I want to do here is that I love baking. You want to put the sugar back? I would love to. Thank you. We're trying to build a culture where, you know, we're not, they're not just coworkers, but they're friends. Um, they get along with one another. We, we laugh. Kyle is the one who keeps it interesting. He's always making us laugh. Jesse and Megan are both wonderful bakers. Perfect. You got lots of lemon juice, huh? My cousins, um, they have special needs and I've never looked at them differently for that. And I hope that when they grow up, um, they can still have a meaningful job. And that's what keeps me going and inspires me. All right, so you're good to go. Will you go grab some salt? Thank you. This is a great opportunity. A meaningful job is important to most of us, and people with special needs, they're no different. And that looks good. You can just shake off the whisk. Perfect. I'm, 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 I'm getting crying, I'm just, just be honest. But, um, Zoe has been a huge in my lifetime. Um, she's been my real, real close friend since we ever met. Um, it means everything. It makes everything worth it, and all the late nights and early mornings worth it. Zoe says because uh, a lack of employment for people with special needs is a national problem, she wants to take her business model national, too. She hopes that what she has created will take off around the country. And she's really looked into this. She has talked with Young Life Capernaum, looked at some of the research, and she's going to create an advisory board. She hopes to open her own shop eventually. So. You've probably seen a lot of her uh, items across town. They're, they're, they're at pop-up pop -up shops, yeah. yeah. And you can find out more about her pop-up shop, where she'll be selling next, coming up in April online.